everyone, this is Ro from Local Blue, and in this video I'm going to explain how to cut and eat or use aloe vera. Um, aloe vera is a highly medicinal plant, one of the most useful plants in the world. Uh, a lot of people call it a miracle plant, uh, with people saying that it cures things ranging from rheumatoid arthritis to making people's hair grow longer, uh, curing all, all types of skin diseases, and it can be used topically on skin, or it can be eaten as well and or drinking as a juice. So today I'm going to show you how to cut and use it. Um, I happen to have a huge grove of aloe vera here at my house, the growing home. Um, this is about I would say 15 to 20 years of aloe vera growth. It's di very difficult to get this much aloe vera so I'm really sitting in a treasure trove of aloe vera right now and because of that I've become very familiar with how to use it, how to pick it, and uh, other things like that. So if you'll come in here Rich. There's a, you can, you, when you want to pick uh, aloe vera for eating, you want to pick aloe vera that is con convex rather than concave. You can see that this leaf right here, for example, is is uh, is concave. It has a, a curve in the middle, and I can tell when something is like that, when it's concave like this, that it's going to be bitter when I eat it. So it, that that type of aloe vera is great for using on the skin topically, but you don't want to eat that because it's going to be really bitter. So for eating, you want a piece that's convex, and you want it to be soft when you touch it. And again, there are all types of aloe vera, but generally that's the rule. So I've spotted a little piece right here which is soft, and it's convex. So I'm going to cut that, just cut it from the bottom. And you never want to cut too much aloe from your plant, especially, I mean, I have tons of it. But if you don't, then, I mean, each of these leaves takes months and months to develop, and uh, you don't want to cut more than, the, at more than the, the rate at which the plant regenerates. So you can see that this leaf is convex. It's, it's not concave, it's come out over here, it's thick on both sides, and it's kind of fat. So now I'm going to take this leaf inside and cut it, and I'm going to eat it. So here I have the leaf that I just cut, and you can see that it is it's thorned on both sides, kind of spiked. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off those thorns. And just using the knife like this, removing all that. And see this yellow stuff here? That's a strong laxative, so you, you generally don't want to, to eat that unless that's exactly what you're trying to do is purge. So I'm going to cut that off like that. So now I have the leaf with no thorny stuff. Now I'm going to take a peeler and peel off one side. So now I've peeled that. You can use this, like I could rub that, you know, that's, that's good for topical use. And this is the meat inside, this is the meat of the aloe. So when you buy aloe vera juice in the store, you're not getting the leaf you're just getting this meat, right? And you can literally, there are different types of aloe, some are more gooey, some are solid. This is a kind of gooey, sticky one, which would be very good for topical use. And you could just literally take a spoon like this. And since I know this is a non-bitter uh, variety, because I just happen to be very experienced, I know it's going to taste okay. The, the texture is something you have to get used to but the taste itself is, is tasteless, it's, it tastes fine. So you could get up every morning and eat a leaf, uh, which is what I've been doing for quite some time. And uh, you'll notice the difference. It's like a lubricant for the body. So that's how to cut, how to pick, how to cut, and how to use, and how to eat aloe vera. Thanks for watching.